Cranmer 1539 edition. Translation of Matthew chapter 5 from the English Hexabla. The Thomas Cranmer was the Archbishop of Canterbury under King Henry VIII. Coverdale did the translation and it was called the Great Bible over the Coverdale's Bible. Cramner got it authorized as the first English translation, thus it is referred to as the Cranmer's Bible, even though Miles Coverdale is the one that did the work. Matthew chapter 5 being read by Peter John Parises. When he saw the people, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came to him too. And after that he opened his mouth, he taught them, saying, three, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Four, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall receive comfort. Five, Blessed are the meek, for they shall receive the inheritance of the earth. Six. Blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Seven. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Eight. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Nine. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Ten. Blessed are they which suffer persecution. For righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 11. Blessed are ye when men revile you and persecute you, and shall falsely say all manner of evil sayings against you for my sake. 12. Rejoice and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost the saltness, what shall be seasoned therewith? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden down of men. 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. 15. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. No, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. 18. For truly I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one iota or one tittle of the law shall not escape till all be fulfilled. 19. Whosoever therefore breaketh one of these least commandments, and teacheth men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever doeth and teacheth the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. 20. For I say unto you, except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. 21. Ye have heard that it was said unto them of the old time, Thou shalt not kill. Whosoever killeth shall be in danger of judgment. 22. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother, unadvisedly, shall be in danger of judgment. And whosoever say unto his brother, Reka, shall be in danger of a counsel. But whosoever saith, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. 23. Therefore, if thou offerest thy gift at the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, 24. leave there thine offering before the altar, and go thy way first to be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. 25. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, Least at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the minister, and then thou be cast into prison. 26. Utterly I say unto thee, 
thou shalt not come out thence till thou hast paid the utmost farthing. 27. Ye have heard that it was said to them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. 28. But I say unto you, that whoso looketh on another man's wife to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. 29. If thy right eye hinder thee, pluck him out, and cast him from thee. For better it is unto thee that one of thy members perish, than that thy whole body should be cast into hell. 30. And if thy right hand hinder thee, cut him off and cast him from thee. For better it is unto thee that one of thy members perish, than that all thy body should be cast into hell. 31. It is said, Whosoever putteth away his wife, let him give her a letter of the divorcement. 32. But I say unto you, that whosoever doth put away his wife, except it be for fornication, causes her to break matrimony. And whosoever marrieth her that is divorced, committeth adultery. 33. Again, ye have heard how it was said to them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord those things that thou swearest. 34. But I say unto you, Swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's seat. 35. Nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. Neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. 36. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou cannot make one hair white or black. 37. But your communication shall be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is added more than these it cometh of evil. 39. Ye have heard that it is said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. 39. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. But whosoever give thee a blow on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. 40. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever will compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow, turn not thou away. 43. Ye have heard that it is said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. 44. But I say unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Pray for them which hurt you and persecute you. 45. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his Son to arise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and unjust. 46. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not the publicans also even the same? 47. And if ye make much of your brethren only, what single thing do ye do not also the publicans likewise? 48. Ye shall therefore be perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. End of chapter 5 of the Cramner's 1539 translation, read out of the English Hexaba by Peter John Priestes.